Hey everyone, it's Tiffany here. So today I'm going to be doing the controversial parenting tag. And I didn't want to do this video because there's already a lot of opinionated people on my channel now that have, you know, kind of negative things to say to me about other things. So I could imagine, um, you know, those same people or even other people kind of attacking me for my choices on this stuff because obviously it's called the controversial parenting tag. So I didn't want to do it, but I am doing it. So I just ask that you guys respect my um, choices on these um, issues and, you know, don't leave negative comments or whatever on, you know, whatever I say. So these are just my opinions, my choices. Um, I'm not pushing any of my choices on you guys. This is just my my things. So, you know, here we go. I'm going to get started. And it's basically, you know, I'll say... Um, this or that, whatever, and I'll tell you guys if, you know, how my thought about it, okay? The first one is pro-life versus pro-choice. And that's kind of a tough issue to really say. Um, I'm, I'm going to say pro-life, um, but I know that there's, you know, certain situations um, that, you know, a person, a, a female could, you know, um, not choose pro-life because you know, say a little girl, 10 years old or whatever, gets pregnant by her uncle or something, or, you know, raped or something, you know, I, I know that there's different situations where, you know, it can differ, so, um, yeah, I, I would say pro-life, I'm gonna say pro-life, but, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of hard, it's kind of like, kind of, uh, kind of hard choice to, to, to say, so, I mean, I, I guess pro-choice, I don't know, that's, that's kind of, I don't know, I don't really like, like, discussing that kind of because it's just next one <laughs> um baby wearing um i i don't really even know what that is really i guess that's you know with maybe with the moby wrap and like wearing your baby and i'm all for that um i did not have a moby wrap or anything with Jaden. um i didn't really wear him um but yeah i mean if that's what women want to do i'm not i'm for it like i would try it with this next baby um but i, I didn't do it with him um I had like the little backpack looking thing that you put him in and I did wear that and it hurt my back a little bit because I guess he was like heavier but you know if I had you know done it when he was a little bit younger and lighter <laughs> lightweight uh, it probably would have been a lot easier for me to get things done so yeah I'm all for baby wearing. Um, next one, circumcision. Okay now this is a very um, tough topic as well because I don't think that I am that I, I am or was um, educated enough on that decision. Jaden is circumcised um, and after getting him circumcised I had saw all these videos, uh, you know, mommy videos of, you know, people um, saying why they wouldn't, why, why they wouldn't circumcise their own baby such as um, Gabe, and, Gabe and Jess. Um, she's the one who really kind of opened my eyes up on it. So I really need to do my research more um, about that. But Jaden is circumcised before, you know, I really you know, really knew that there it was really an issue. Um, all I knew was circumcise the baby if it's a boy, whatever. You know, TJ's, um, you know, he, he is my partner and we also made the decision together to get him circumcised. I didn't really think that it was, you know, a big, big issue. So I really need to get educated on that more. Um, my decision might change later on, but right now, um, Jaden, you know, is circumcised. Um, next issue, whoops, uh, is adoption. Um, I am all for adoption. Um, you know, I don't think that I would adopt if, um, like the only time I think that I would adopt is if I couldn't have my own kids. Um, you know, there's a lot of women in the world that can't have their own kids and I feel like, you know, if they want a child then they can adopt. So, you know, I definitely prefer, um, adoption over abortion. Um, but, um, yeah, is that, it's, yeah, I'm for adoption. Um, next, uh, topic is baby piercings, and I think that I am for baby, baby piercings. Um, Jaden doesn't have his ear pierced, he's, um, yeah, and I don't plan on getting his ear pierced, but had he been a girl, I probably would have gotten his ear pierced, only because, um, you know, um, I just feel like it's okay, you know, at a certain age. Um, I'm not sure what age I was when I got my ear pierced. Ear, ears pierced, but I know that I was a baby and I don't remember the pain. Um, I don't think that I was in distress and they're, they're still fine. Um, they didn't, um, 
get infected or anything and you know that was back in what 1989 <laughs> so you know 2000, now it's 2012 and I feel like you know everything is um things are you know more cleaner and different and you know I feel like if I got my baby's ears pierced it would be okay um so yeah I think baby ears piercing is okay um let's see um breast milk versus formula and I would definitely choose breast milk. When I had Jaden, I definitely wanted to breastfeed, but um, I wasn't able to. I tried for a little while, but I did not produce enough milk. Um, on both when I when I pumped, I was only getting like this much much per per boob. And excuse me, when you know I put him you know to the breast, he just would cry and cry because he wasn't getting enough, I guess. And he just was really hungry, and um, you know I just wasn't working and he just would, was crying all the time and as soon as we gave him formula um he was a whole nother baby he was he slept he was quiet he just was you know happy so I you know I really felt bad that I wasn't able to breastfeed him but my doctor said that there's a natural pill or something that she's gonna um try to give me a you know for this next baby I'm definitely gonna try to breastfeed with this next baby um and I also heard you guys have been telling me about this lactation tea that um, I think it's called what fenugreek fenugreek I think and I'm I also saw that on tea and Tamara so I'm gonna look into that too so that I you know I will be able to um, breastfeed this baby so yeah definitely um, breastfeed uh, breast breast milk um, over formula but if you can't breastfeed then I definitely think that formula is okay um, like I said Jaden's He's smart. He's a smart kid, and he has been on formula. He hasn't had any ear infections. He has any things. He hasn't had any of these things that they say that you get if your baby is on formula. Um, so, yeah. Um, spanking. <sighs> this is also a tough topic, um, and I know probably a lot of you guys might jump on me for this, but like I said, please respect my decisions. And um, I am. I do enforce spanking. Now, there's a difference between between beating your children and spanking your children. I will not beat my kids. Um, I do, I will spank. Jaden has got spankings before. Um, it's, you know, a little pat on his butt or a little slap on his hand. Um, just because, you know, when I when I grew up, I had got spankings and I'm okay. Um, I don't feel like I was abused or anything. Um, you know, I'm a good child. So, um, you know, a lot of people think that if you spank your kids, it gets them nowhere and it makes them scared of you. Um, I don't feel like Jaden is scared of me, of me or his dad at all, you know. You guys can see in our vlogs that, you know, he's all about, you know, he's cuddly and lovey and all, all that stuff. So he's not, I don't feel like he's afraid of us. Um, you know, we'll tell him no the first time if he doesn't listen. Um, we'll count to three. If he doesn't listen then, you know, he'll get a spanking. So, you know, obviously spanking is not the first resort. Um, it's pretty much, you know, it's the last one um, after, you know, he doesn't, if he's still touching stuff, then he'll get a little spank on it, spank on it, spanking on his hand and he'll stop doing what he's doing. So, you know, I feel like, you know, it does tell him, no, um, you don't need to be doing that. And yeah, so yeah, we do spank. Um, next thing. Whew, I'm out of breath. It's pregnancy. Whew. Um, co-sleeping. Um, this is also another like issue that I'm not for sure about because um, I know that co-sleeping can be bad because a lot of times you know parents there's there's been so many stories where parents roll over on their child and you know suffocate them because you know they're so hip they're so you know big and their baby's so little and I did co-sleep with Jaden for a little while because I don't know, just because it was easy, because, you know, I didn't have to put him in his room, I didn't have to get up, um, I could just, you know, feed him right there, he's just, you know, laying right beside me, it's just really easy, as a mom, you guys know that sleeping with, if you have done co-sleeping, that it's, it's just, you know, a lot easier with your baby there, but, um, I'm gonna say this, I do not plan on try on sleeping with, co-sleeping with this baby, um, because transitioning Jaden from my bed to his bed was, not fun at all he when we got to our apartment um he just would cry and cry um you know that's also because he had the bottle but he just didn't like sleeping in his, in his crib so this baby i plan on putting in the crib um you know pretty much right away when we get home and stuff and you know train that baby to sleep in their own bed in their own bed but you know who knows my mind could change later on when the baby gets here and i might co sleep but i don't know who knows Next one, home versus public versus private versus charter schooling. And that's another one that I'm going to have to um, look into more, but right now I'm going to say public schooling. Um, I went to public school 
and so did TJ, and pro Jaden probably will most likely go to public school as well, um, unless, you know, I need to, like I said, do, my, do some more research on those areas and see, you know, which one is the best, but I feel like, um, you know, if I find the right school, I feel like pub public school, there's not, you know, any problems with public schooling. Um, vaccinations. Um, I probably need to do some more research on this, but um, as of now, Jaden is up to date with all of his vaccines, up to 15 months. His, he's got up to his 15 month vac vaccines, and, um, and I am gonna I am gonna start doing this because, like I said, y'all just y'all know that he just got over um, a uh, a cold, a stomach virus, or whatever, and. I believe that it's from the flu shot. So this next baby and Jaden, they're not, neither one of them are getting any flu shots anymore. Um, you know, I, I do believe that he got sick from the flu shot because, you know, what are the odds that he gets sick two days right after getting that shot and beforehand he was fine, he wasn't showing any symptoms of being sick and, you know, so I, the doctors tell me that it's not from the flu shot because it's a stomach virus but every single person is different and everybody reacts differently from the flu shot and I think he could have just reacted his reactions just probably were you know throwing up and diarrhea and stuff so I don't think that it was a random stomach virus I definitely 100% think that it was from the flu shot and he will not be getting any more flu shots and this next baby won't be getting any flu shots either um, but as rest of as far as the other vaccines he is up to date with all, all his vaccines never had a problem with any of them um, but yeah, I'm still going to do my research on those to see if I want to, you know, do vaccines on my other babies, uh, my other, my other, my next baby. <laughs> um, but you know, I was, I had got all my, all my vaccines, um, never really got a flu shot except for twice in my life. And that was when I was pregnant with Jaden and they made me get it this time. So yeah. Um, next one is medicating children. And I think that means like, when they're sick, do I, would I give my baby like Tylenol or something? And I guess, um, I would actually, cause, um, I do give Jaden, like when Jaden was, you know, a smaller baby, maybe like, you know, three, four months and he was, you know, had, didn't feel good cause he had, um, uh, I don't even know. He just, he had a fever at one point. I don't remember what, what it was from. I'm not sure. Um, but he had a fever and, um, you know, stuffy nose and I did give him Tylenol to help him to help it. And, um, yeah, it was okay. So I, I do think that, um, those type of medications are okay. Like, you know, children's Tylenol and, um, stuff like that. I do, um, I would give my, my baby. <sighs> I keep getting out of this. The next one is cloth versus, dis versus disposable diapers. And we use, um, disposable diapers. Um, I probably should do more, re more research on that, but, um, yeah, I'm definitely for more for disposable diapers. Um, I'm not, I don't really, I think, I'm not 100% sure why, um, you know, people do cloth diapering. I guess because, you know, for um, making the world a better place and, you know, recycling and stuff like that. But um, in my mind, because I'm not educated on this, I feel like, um, I don't know, do do we use, my question uh, questions are, like, do we, am I going to be using more water, like, you know, my washing machine, if I don't use this, if I don't do, um, disposable diapers, am I going to be spending more money on those as the, you know, the, the kid grows out of the diapers, you know, ha I'm not really sure how they work, so I'm going to have to do more research on that, um, but right now, um, I plan on doing disposable diapers with this baby, this next baby, and continue doing it with Jane. Okay, the last one is cry it out method, and this is another more, more controversial topic, um, but we have done the cry out method with Jaden because, um, you know, at first, you know, as new parents, when Jaden would cry, we would pick him up and, um, you know, my, my, my mom and, um, my neighbor, who's kind of like my grandma kind of told me, you know, if you cry every time, every, if you pick him up every time he, he cries, you know, he's gonna kind of like, no, okay, I'm crying. And so when I cry, my mom comes. So, um, we have done the cry out method before, you know, I let him cry for a, a little bit. And if, you know, after for so long, we'll, if he doesn't fall asleep or whatever, we'll go pick him up. Um, but not every single time that he cries, we don't, we don't come, you know, to get him. Um, and then here, when, uh, when we first moved here, we did the cry it out method. Um, when we put him in the bed, he would cry for like 
what felt for a long time, just because as a mom and your baby cries, you want to pick him up. But um, he cried maybe for about five minutes, if that, and he, then he would just fall fall asleep. And after like three nights of him doing that, he was trained. Like he we, he wouldn't cry anymore after we put him in his bed. So I think the cry out method does work to a certain extent. Don't let your baby cry for hours if you're gonna do it. You know, I would say you know set a time and check on the baby. So um, yeah, we do the cry out method. I think that it's okay. I don't think that it you know makes your child you know neglected or whatever, but. Yes, I have done the cry out method. So that's it. My voice is like raspy from talking because I've done filmed like so many videos today. But yeah, if you guys have any questions for me, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.